Tofino Hot Springs, $250 a person, packed with tourists, exactly why Blaine and I never wanted to go. But this time we did it our way. We took our own boat, waited until the tour boats cleared out, and had the springs completely to ourselves. We even celebrated a little too much. But hot springs, empty stomachs, and a bit too much wine. What could possibly go wrong? In hindsight, maybe we should have seen it coming, especially with me being a bit of a klutz. The countdown is on. In nine months, we're setting off to Japan, cruising through Alaska and Siberia along the way. Hit subscribe to join us on this once-in-a-lifetime adventure. You won't want to miss it. We just completed a massive four-month repower of Tangaroa, which included replacing the engines, redoing the bottom, painting the bootstripe, and putting in a new wet exhaust. To test out all our changes, we decided to head to the wild west coast of Vancouver Island, specifically Tofino. I have to say, I like where the waterline is. A lot of people said our waterline was too high, but if you actually look at the waterline, the water comes up our bow just to the top of the red stripe. Look. I have to say, I'm really proud of my bootstrap and I really like where I put it. Now, let's go find some hot springs. of otters. We're gonna go back and check them out. They're just so cute. They're all lying there on their back. There's like six or seven of them all together. So we're just doing a little turnaround. They're right there. Really little feeties up in the air. When they're sleeping or if they don't drift away from each other, they actually hook arms together, which is like the cutest thing. to go blow the air horn. Maybe one long one. When you're cruising through the fog in British Columbia, on a boat like Tangaroa, we're supposed to give one long blast every two minutes, which we would have done if we had our horn working. I just want to try. That's cool. Okay, I'll do it again. <gasps> this doesn't work very well. We really need to get the horn fixed on board. It would... It's like I'm having a contest on who can blow the hardest with the horn. He's winning. <laughs> and luckily the fog cleared up just as we were heading into Refuge Cove where you anchor to access Tofino Hot Springs. So we had a bit of a problem, the anchor didn't hook. So we just pulled it up and we are heading deep into the Bay of Tofino Hot Springs. First of all, to get rid of the sea, get away from the seaplanes because they stink. And all the tour boats, they don't care about their wake, they come flying in. So we are going way down in there for some privacy. We are on an excursion and reading from about the Tofino Hot Springs, our excursion is $250 a person. It does not guarantee that we see whales. We may see wildlife, who knows? But we are off. Has everybody paid their $250 a person? <laughs> wow, 
Oh, boy. Okay, we're on Tangaroa Fee. We're free. We're just going to go have fun. But the park entrance is $15 a person, which is a great cause actually because they've redone all of the boardwalks. It's supposed to be absolutely beautiful. It's about a one kilometer hike in, one kilometer hike out. We have never been. I am totally telling you everything I've just read on Google. Oh, and we have to be like mountain goats to climb over these rocks to get into these springs. So let's see what happens because we are not graceful. Hi. For a guy who just had a hip replacement, <laughs> Brian's pretty good at climbing out of the dinghy. Now, if only we could teach him how to tie knots. And if you've noticed, for one of the first times ever, we've left Maggie on board. No okay, Blaine, bathing. no nude bathing. What the? This is a one kilometer hike in. <laughs> Blaine, Blaine is complaining. <laughs> I didn't know if it was a one kilometer hike, I would have stayed home with Maggie. It's a one kilometer hike on boardwalks. I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, look at it. I'm looking forward to it. It's not that hard. No. I'm wearing my hiking flip flops. Yeah, those hiking flip flops, they work well. Let's see. They're going to work well in the hot springs, too. Look at the size of that river. It's kind of cool though. That's a big tree. Look at that one. Big tree. Big tree. Big tree. We're still going on the boardwalk. But this is probably one of the most prettiest walks we've been, and we're just saying it's probably the longest boardwalk we've ever been on. It is a long boardwalk, but it is a very well done boardwalk. I always admire the people who built these things, because they must have just worked their butts off. That's pretty cool. Don't feed the animals. What does it say? That's it, no food for you guys tonight. <laughs> That's don't pee in the hot spring. Uh, so this is McQuinna Marine Park, which is actually kind of cool. Um, created 160 million years ago. And what happens is this part of Vancouver Island actually rests on the, uh, the, on the fault line, basically, on the Earth's crust, which is what cre creates the hot springs. So these hot springs have been here for many years. Um, the First Nations actually considered this a healing area for them, um, kind of a uh, sacred place that they would come to, from what I've read. And this hot spring, it says, is a result of surface water flowing through a fault to a depth of about five kilometers. So that's why this water is so hot. The water is geothermally heated and is up to 109 degrees Celsius. That's insane, like that's hot. There's no way it's 109 for us to sit in. Hydrostatic pressure forces the water back to the surface and discharges through the fractured rock at a temperature about 50 degrees Celsius. Okay, we're not gonna scald our skin, <laughs> but I think the hottest pool here, they're saying it's hot tub hot, but this one looks about 50 degrees Celsius. So that's going to be the lower pool from what we've read. And it cools off if the waves come in, if we're hot, if we're in high tide. We are we're not, not sure if we're in high tide. tide. I don't think so. We might not be going to the hot, hot spring. High tide was at noon. Ooh. It's like seven now. It is seven. But so that will not stop us enjoying our celebratory bottle of wine. And the hot springs. Okay, let's go see these things. Oh, I wish you guys could smell this. All it smells is like rotten eggs. There you go, go sit in that. Maybe not. Whew. It's stinky. It's like hard boiled eggs. It's stinky. This is our celebratory Barolo from Sean on Safari. And being that we just got out of the yard after four months and we have found the hot springs. We are gonna go head down into the pools and enjoy some red wine and just 
breathe, right, Blaine? Right. Blaine's got to open the bottle, though. Yeah. Perfect. Can you see it? Well, that's a nice bottle of wine to celebrate. Mm -hmm. Okay, they don't want any. Okay. Brian, do you want some? Um, I'll go with the beer. Okay. Fill her up, Blaine. We have to be a bit of a mountain goat to get into here. But that's okay, because we're mountain goats, right, Blaine? I'm going no hands because I have to record and hold wine. Woohoo! Wow. Oh, this one's beautiful. <gasps> okay, I'm in heaven. I think we found the perfect spot. What do you think? Absolutely. Well, four months in the yard, and we're out. And we're exactly where we wanted oh. to be. Yeah. So, cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. That's nice. That is a lovely wine. Absolutely lovely. Lovely wine. Thank you, Sean. Oh, this is Billy Go Gruff here. That looks like ocean. And because I grew up in sauna country where you go in the sauna, you jump in the cold water, you go back to the sauna, I had to go into the ocean. Oh, that's cold. Weird. That's cold. It's almost like it's the ocean. Sit here with your feet in the hot water, looking at the cold ocean. There's another little one right here behind you. That's like swimming pool temperature. Yeah, this one is too. Okay, we should get in that one because we should both try and fit in this one. Okay. <laughs> Our hips don't fit. Hips don't uh, lie. <laughs> <laughs> I never in. <laughs> How's that? It's a really tiny. It is. I think the big one's probably. I think our hips are wedged in here together, which is what's holding us up. I don't even know how I can get out. I'll probably have to get out first. <laughs> Ready? Here's another one. Stand by. Stand by. Try not to flip it. Oh! The water broke the fall. Okay. It's actually probably better. Okay. Sorry I flipped yours. Okay, I won't jump. That would be really stupid. But that was an easy way to get the beers down to the people. Okay. Different pool? I wouldn't. Don't do it. Don't don't do it. This is gorgeous. Woohoo! Look for all the muscles. There's something about that tingle when you go in the ocean and get all cold and then you go into hot spring. It's like, oh, oh, the tingle, baby. I know the tingle. It's the tingle. Oh, you gotta warm up. This is so hot. Okay, with the sun going down with you guys right there, it's absolutely beautiful. So what's really cool about this is you think this water came from like five kilometers down. Don't put 
glacial. It does not taste like glacial water. It's kind of like not good. <laughs> it's like poop water. It's like someone took rotten eggs and put them in a pot and boiled it and you drink the water after. Right? Even worse than hot dog water. It's worse than hot dog water. But you can say you tasted water that came from the middle of the earth kind of thing. I can't because I didn't taste it. <laughs> and I don't plan to. Glacial water, much better. And soon the sun was setting. And for us, we love any place where sun sets mm -hmm. an event. And then disaster struck. Uh-oh, we're out of wine. It's a sad day. Okay, back in the hot water. So the hot springs are awesome because <laughs> you have a lot of wine. And then you tend to fall. And you get like Janice scrapes. Fall. Janice fall down. And scrapes. And Janice fell down and went boom. And I don't and, even know if Blaine supported and, me or laughed. In all fairness, Janice does not necessarily require wine to fall down. No, I'm just really good at falling down. <laughs> but truly, this was just an absolutely special place. I don't mm -hmm. even know how to explain it. We did have to dodge the naked people, which were down like three poles. I'm surprised Blaine didn't go check it out because like she was beautiful. Why didn't uh, you didn't go check out the naked woman? I have a beautiful one right there. Oh, thank you. But it is time to head back to Tangaroa. I made my choice. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the hot springs. We absolutely did. And it was like the perfect evening, a celebration of out of the yard because it's it been awesome. one week today since we've been out of the yard. Feels like more than a week, but yeah. It's mm -hmm. been a long week of a lot of travel, and, but it's been so worth it. Okay, let's go back to Tangaroa because Maggie is probably extremely pissed off okay. that we left her. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm in absolute awe. Like, I am just so grateful for this. Like being able to walk along this boardwalk and going into the hot spring, even though I fell and I hurt myself, it's just absolutely, Amazing. Like this is why we got Tangaroa is to go experience do stuff. The world, do stuff and just appreciate the small things. And just to stop and like look around right now. It's just pretty incredible. It's pretty incredible. We do go have to get back to Tangaroa though because Maggie She's going to be like a mad child. Yep. She's going to be pissed off at us all night. Yep. You're lucky if she doesn't wake us up all night, powing out your face saying, you little... <laughs> That's what she's going to say. Probably. We have to walk past that because the dock is on the other side of that. What point? Like way in the distance over there. Oh, and that one? Are we over there? Yeah, we have to go past that. Oh That's... my god, this is a long walk. Yeah. <laughs> this is a long walk on a whole bottle of wine. And no dinner. Yeah. What did we just get it's, ourselves it's into? It's like twice as much distance. I thought you said it's like while. shorter on the way back. Don't they always say it's shorter on it's the way back? It's roughly the same distance on the way back. <laughs> okay, <laughs> keep going. We're heading back to Tangaroa. We gotta pick up the crab trap on the way, just to see, you know, if we have any. Um, but we talked to some locals here and they said what's happened with the crabs is the otters have moved in and they've decimated them. Um, so we'll see, we have yet to get some dungies. We may have to wait till we get to the Broken Otter group to get some good crab. Otters, super cute. Super like dungies. Super like dungies and clams. Damn otters. It was pitch black out by the time we pulled up the crab trap, but surprise, surprise, it was empty. Good morning. It is so rainy out um, that we decided to head out because we cannot beat last night at Hot Springs Cove. Like there's no point staying here anymore. It's like, let's move out and find something else. It was so much fun. Um, I did wake up with a huge swollen elbow. Maybe half a bottle of wine and climbing over rocks is not a good idea. But that's okay. I do have to lift that anchor in the snubber. And it's pouring rain. So we got the umbrella. And we're moving to a place called Quate Cove.
cove. So let's go. Pajamas, umbrella. This works well. What are you doing? I gotta go uh, take my bucket off the top of the generator exhaust. Oh shoot. <laughs> uh, we have a generator exhaust that collects water and blade put one of our kitchen glasses over top of it so water didn't go in it during this rain. Show them the glass blade. That was perfect. Yep. We have such a good hook that look at Blaine's gonna have to pull it loose. So the windlass couldn't do that. So Blaine actually did Tangaroa and uh, used the engines to pull us loose. That was a good hook. Woo. Okay, we're at 25 feet. Once the anchor was up, it was time to head to our next destination, Quait Bay. Watch behind us too. They surprise me all the time where they pop up. Here, where, 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 where? Where'd you go, Mags? There. Just one guy? Oh, two. No, two. It's our first time actually seeing orcas on this trip, which is awesome. And they're right in front of us. Look at them. One, two, three, four, five. So we're going through that channel right now and we stopped because orcas are extremely protected and you don't want to go near them. You have to stay so many distance away, but they are heading away from us so we can sneak in the channel behind them and not to pay them like not disturb them, which is the key thing with the orcas around here. You do not want to disturb orcas. There's a little otter right there. So we're going to Quait Bay, which we think is that opening right there. A lot of this traveling here today was seriously by radar because the visibility was so horrible with the rain. It is a cold and dreary day. Thankfully yesterday was perfect for the hot springs. So we'll see what Quake Bay is like. We've got water right in our way. Hopefully we don't run them over. There he goes. Boop. So we're going right into that opening right there.
a lazy two days. Well, day and a half. Yesterday we sat in the main salon. It was absolutely pouring rain and we watched a movie. And today it's pouring rain again. Is that crazy? So, but we are going to move on because we are dropping our friends off in Tofino this morning. And then Blaine and I have to do some stuff on the boat, including fix the dinghy because it's really acting up. That carburetor is all gunked up again and it's not happy. It was a bit of a challenge getting Maggie to shore today with that motor. Um, it kept stalling out and I kept having to use the, what do you call it, the choke kind of thing. But it was definitely a challenge. I didn't think I'd make it back. I thought I would have to paddle. So we definitely have to sort out our motor and dinghy issues before the winter because that would suck to be like that in the winter time. Okay, what is happening here? Oh, there it is. We got some seaweed. When we came into Quaid Bay, I didn't realize how skinny the entrance was. Today, I was a bit worried. watching the starfish like this whole shore is covered in starfish you can just see them out of all the little crevasses crevices crevasses oh look at them all they're such cool colors I think the purple ones are my favorite see them in the, in the crevice there purple oh, yeah. that's what like spongebob dude sitting there going hi Get a jacket on. Woo. It's a bit 
We need cream, milk, and maybe chocolate. <laughs> Let's go find a grocery store and say goodbye to Brian and Tina because they are off the boat and it would just be Blaine and I on board the boat for about the next six days until Paul and Ange come. So we got a little bit of a rest. The weather's cleared up a little bit. We're gonna go enjoy our walk around Tofino. It has been a long time since we've walked around Tofino. There's some new stores. There's some that are gone. Definitely been a while. I feel like we should get ice cream. Mm -hmm. We'll come off back on that. We are on the search for mouse traps. We have got to get this mouse off our boat. Okay, stationary art supplies. Baby toys games diapers. Okay, we found most traps. That most is going to be a goner. He has to get off the boat. He actually was starting to eat the corn and no one eats the corn. So, kill the mouse. That is our task for tonight. We decided to take a break. Got off the boat and we're going to get some lingcod and chips. And Blaine's alarm just went off and he's been watching the anchor alarm because the anchor alarm has been going off constantly also, which is a bit worrisome, but I think it's just because the tide and the wind that the boat's spinning. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But he's off to get our whoa, Blaine fish and chips. Blaine and I don't eat as much as we used to. So sometimes it's easier just to get one portion and share. Uh oh, runaway fish. We could throw a fish in there for me. Okay, we're being a bit rude. I'm just like picking up the whole fish and chip. When you cut it, it all falls apart. Can't confirm. And we've had our town fix. Yep, don't need much of that. Now we can go. Back to the boat is nap time. <laughs> it's always scary when you round the corner and you can't see your boat when you think you should be able to. I put my crab trap. I put my crab trap out while we're having a nap and I think the current is so strong it dragged far far away 
away. So we're gonna go find it. I think it's way over there by this catamaran. I think. Lay out some more chain. I think we need more chain. Holy crap. And lots of current. Okay. And I think the current just took my crab trap. I think it's over just to the left of the catamaran. It's right in front of the catamaran. I don't want to lose my trap. That's a good trap. Suck. But I think that's it. Definitely trolling for crab. I don't think there's enough weight in it for sure. No. Not for this current. That's like four knots of current. Nothing. And all empty. Look how far your trap was away from the boat. You're not having good luck with trapping. No crap and trapping. Holy current though, holy current. That's like an insane amount of current. Thank you for helping me rescue the trap. Good morning from our rocky Tofino anchorage. So Tofino is not known for good anchorages or for being very, um, how do you say, welcoming to private boats. So we are heading out. This anchorage was rocking and rolling all morning because there are tour boats flying by, like absolutely flying. And we don't know where they're going. They were heading up that way and there's actually no exit into the ocean or anything that way. So guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna go that way because I think they are the bear tour boats. Right, Blaine? Do you think they're the bear tour boats? Oh, did you just blow the glass off there? I the, Here. I blew the glass off again. Look at what you're doing. It's on. I keep forgetting I'm putting a glass on top of this exhaust to keep the water out when it rains. And I forget it's on there. So, I might have to wash this one. That's <laughs> my drinking glass. That's the drinking glass. That's my drinking glass. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I can get that off. Woohoo! Look at that! That is so cool. off so much so easy and you know what it's kind of fun playing with seaweed looks good one little eel grass okay we're out of here next stop 
Kennedy Cove. Little did we know that we would be back in Tofino in three days. Basically, my elbow got worse and worse and worse until I couldn't even bend my left arm. I don't know if you've been noticing this video, but I was using my right arm for everything. It really hurts. I imagine it does. No clue how long it's going to be. I've already got my little band and we're already admitted. So now we just wait. So I sent Blaine off. He wants to go to the bakery with the dog. So he's off to go to the bakery and see what's happening. And then he'll probably walk around to Fino and wait for a call from me. But with the hospitals around here, we just wait and wait and wait. What's amazing though, when I was looking at the costs, thank gosh, I'm actually Canadian and a resident. Cause look at non-residents of Canada, $990 just for one visit. And then $330 to see the physician. And then, is that crazy? This is why I'm Canadian and have a Canada medical card. Awesome. I don't have to pay a heck of a lot of money. The nurse just came in, asked me all my questions. She's like, you definitely need an x-ray. So I'm definitely going for an x-ray. We're just waiting for the doctor right now. So she kind of did all the pre-questions, waiting for the doctor, head for an x-ray and see what is going on with this elbow. This is actually the most comfortable way to hold it right now. I just wanna say this is like the fastest hospital visit ever. X-rays are done. Doctor just came in. She's wearing Burks. she's so cool. She's just gone to check out the X-rays. She did the manipulation and now we just wait to see what the scoop is. And I've been texting Blaine because I don't think he's gone back to the boat. He's hanging out because seriously, fastest hospital visit ever. Okay, good news, nothing broken. I have endochromalic bursitis. Basically, the fluid sac on the end of my elbow is extremely inflamed. I really have to watch it for infection. Um, and if my arm starts going red or starts getting worse, I have to go. But it's going to be painful. Take Advil, take Tylenol, exactly what I'm doing. Rest, ice, compression, elevation. And uh, yeah, and Blaine's here. Did you I, find me a tea latte? No, because I wasn't sure how long you were going to be. Fastest hospital visit ever. No, it's the fastest, like with x-rays and everything. I know. Crazy. Thank gosh I didn't end up in a cast. That's what happens when you drink and go in the hot springs on an empty stomach. Join us next week as we head to Kennedy Cove. And don't forget to subscribe. That's probably the best way you can support our channel. And if you want to know the inside scoop of Onboard Tangaroa, check out our YouTube membership and Patreon. See you on the inside.